Oh, snap! I, I, snap! Snap! Oh, no! Snap! Alright. Yeah, that's, that's the intro I'm going with, guys. That's the one I chose. I had a couple other ideas, but that is the intro that I chose. Yeah. Hey guys, one by Tuts by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we're back in Blender once again. Taking a look at some snapping today. Um, <laughs> happy Halloween, it was Halloween, uh, so, so, so yeah, um, that's over, hope you had a safe Halloween, but yeah, so my friends, we're gonna do some snapping today, it's super easy, I figured I could knock this one out really quickly, um, and the great thing about snapping is that it helps us do a lot of really great things, especially with modeling or, um, editing objects, so let's get started. We're gonna be using Default Cube today, it's his day, uh, he had a great time trick-or-treating yesterday. So I figure I'll, I'll, I'll just keep his, 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 his dreams going. So up here at the top in the middle, we have this little, this little magnet icon. And when you turn that on, uh, things will automatically start snapping. So you can see if I were to move this, you can see it's, it's starting to snap around. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. No, I'm joking. Um, so we can edit this a little bit because if we were to rotate this by hitting R and then X on our keyboard, you can see it's not snapping right now, which is a bummer. Um, so, if we have this little button up here right next to the, the, the snapping icon, the magnet, this is all of the settings that we have. Not all of them, but this is, this is the things you're going to want to mess with. So, increment is what you just saw. So, it'll snap, you see pretty much that grid. You see it's how it's snapping to the little, the little grid lines. Um, it goes by half, so it moves by half. So, if I move it over, it's going to move half of that box, and then this is the whole box, because it was just sitting in these four uh, squares. So, that's cool, right? But uh, sometimes you don't want to do increment. Sometimes you want to use vertex or edge or volume or face, uh, face or volume. I don't recommend using volume at all usually because it's it's not that great. It doesn't. It, it pretty much just snaps through the entire object, which is kind of strange. It's kind of like you're just moving it without snapping it to anything. So um, increment is obviously my favorite. It's the best one. It's the main one um, because it goes by increments. But let's say I have another cube here, right? So let me just hit Shift D and duplicate that. Let's say I want to move this cube. To this cube, but I only want the vertices to touch. I only want the the little corner pieces to touch. I want I want their feet to touch. I guess it's this guy's foot and this guy's like back of his head. I guess I don't know. Um, but I want to do that. Let's put it on vertex and then I'll hit G to move this uh, this cube. And I can see I can snap it to that vertex, which is sweet, right? So I hit G again, move it over, and now this vertex can snap to that one, this one to that one, to that one, to that one, that one, that one. You know, which is pretty cool. That's a pretty easy way to get stuff to snap as well. You know. Um, right there, boom. So now we've snapped these corners together, which is which is pretty useful. You can use that one. You can also use edge, which isn't usually my favorite because, like I said, you snap it to the edge, but there's not really a snap anywhere. You know, it's not like hey, snap to the middle perfectly. It kind of just smoothly goes along the edge, which is kind of nice depending on what you're doing. Um, but yeah, I don't usually use edge too much. Um, all right, so. Moving forward, we got face, which is pretty much what you expect it to be. You can snap it to faces, so anywhere on this face, I can snap it to that face, snap it to this face, uh, snap it to this face up here, and then if I were over here, I could also snap it to this face as well, um, which is also not very useful. <laughs> Most things, you're not really going to be using face. Um, you're probably ever going to even only use in increment or uh, vertex. In volume, like I said, once again, it's, it's pretty much pointless because it literally just snaps to anywhere inside of this other cube. So I can just literally move it anywhere. It doesn't really help too much. Um, but uh, but yeah, so let's let's take a look at increment again because it's a lot of fun. So let's get rid of that default cube. Sorry, he was a faker anyway. That was the duplicated ver version. All right, so now I'm going to move this up by hitting G. I move it straight on up by hitting Z, you know. Uh, and then we have it just sitting on the grid like this right now, which is pretty sweet. Now I can duplicate this and, uh, and move it over. So hit G uh, Shift D and duplicate it, move it halfway over, move it whole way over. Now we have two cubes sitting right next to each other. But like I said earlier, this, the rotation isn't snapping still. So maybe I want to make like a rotated weird like cube thing, you know, and, and I can't do that right now because I can't get the rotation right. And now it's just like I can't I can't get it perfect. I'm trying to get it like 45 like that and I just can't. And instead of typing in RX on our keyboard and then I'm sorry, RZ on our keyboard, then the 45 to get rotated 45 degrees, we can actually just rotate it that like that. If we go back to the settings and turn effect rotate on. So now if I rotate this RZ, you can see it does snap, which is pretty sweet, right? That's pretty nice. Now I have the ability to snap things and I can snap it to whatever angle I want, which is pretty cool stuff. So, uh, so it works on all different uh, axes like that, all different degrees. If you move fast enough, it doesn't like it's, it's snapping at all. <laughs> 
But anyway, uh, we can go ahead and scroll on down and, and also go to scale. So now when we scale this, it will also affect with the snapping increments, which is pretty cool as well. Now we just made it twice as big as it was. So now we can fit four of regular default cube inside of this bad boy right here, which is pretty cool. So we can do that. Shift D, move them over, shift D, move them over. Right, right, no, right, there we go. And then this one right here, same ordeal. So now four default cubes are inside of this one. We can fit four more so we can actually put eight inside this bad boy, which is pretty cool. So the last thing I want to do here is um, go ahead and uh, actually make something with this. Now this doesn't just work with cubes, obviously. You can work with anything. So I can add in a Suzanne, shift A, and then, uh, and then just mesh uh, monkey. Works with her too. She snaps and increments like that, which is pretty swagalicious. Swagalicious, what am I saying? Um, <laughs> we can just move that back down. Now, I want to make a key. So let's go ahead and hit uh, Shift-D, and then just kind of move these over like this. Now, the thing is with Shift-D and like G, if you move things around, it's going to move not just in a straight line. So if I hit Shift-D, I want to move this like right here to make like a like a, like a a square donut. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to kind of move down too. So now it's kind of like right there, which is not what I want. So if you just rotate your view by hitting the middle mouse button to pan around, you can hit G and just move it straight on up. Or you can hit G, Z, and then no matter where you move your cursor, it will only move uh, straight up and down. Uh, and then G, X always moves that way. And then, of course, G, Y always moves that way no matter where you're putting it. So which is that's pretty cool. Um, now, if we hit 7 on our numpad, you don't have to worry about that at all. So if I hit Shift, D, and I move it straight on down, you can see it will just work properly. Now, you can see the snapping for this is different because if I take a look, this is regular mode right here. So you can see how big these grid pieces are, like that, right? You see how it's, a, it's like a square like that. So it kind of moves half of those, right? So it moves snapping to each one of those. If I hit seven, you can see now now the, the cubes are smaller. So now it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten cubes, ten little squares inside of just half of this cube as it were before so now this is a regular regular cube right seven now you can see there's ten so the snapping will be affected differently if at g it snaps to each one of those ten now so there's more snapping little thingies right which is pretty cool you can get some really really detailed snaps in there so maybe i want to like inset all of these you know center pieces so now when i go on out you can see it has a little bit of a little bit of detail which is pretty cool um but yeah so that's a, a really cool way and now if you want to change that you can go up here to um you can go up here to this little viewport overlays, make sure that's turned on. Uh, and now you see the scale of the grid floor here is pretty cool, right? So if I go ahead and, and hit G for this, it's gonna just it's just gonna mess it up. So it's not actually gonna change it. So when you keep that in mind, you can see now that what I've done is let me actually move it to a, a different value because it looks like it's just snapping to the center. So what I've done is I've kind of messed it up, so now it's offset, so now it doesn't work. So you want to keep that in mind because if you change this, you can actually change, like I said, if you change this uh, value, then the snapping is going to be off. You see how it doesn't even line up with those anymore? It's kind of trying to snap to where it thinks it's supposed to go, and it's not supposed to go there. So let's go ahead and do scale 1.5, and now you can see when I snap it, it doesn't really work anymore. You see? So it kind of just it, it loses it, doesn't know what to do. And it's just all messed up. So keep that in mind when you're playing around with the grid size. If you choose to play around with the grid size, so when I go ahead and get rid of all of these, um, all of these uh, extra cubes that we don't need because they're all fakers, regular default cube here. He's not an imposter. All right. So the last thing I want to talk about in this video is uh, the actual ability to snap things up here in the object uh, menu, which is pretty cool. So this isn't necessarily snapping like this type of snapping. You can just turn that off, and it just leaves. By the way. Um, so, it is not the same type of thing, but if you go to Object Snap, you can actually snap things to different places. So, if I were to go ahead and select this little cursor thing here, and move that cursor over there, so now our cursor is not in the center, I can actually go ahead and select our, no, I can select, I can change back to the selection box here, and select our cube, go to Object, Snap, and then I can go to uh, uh, b -b 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 select it, Selection to Cursor, and then I'll snap to that cursor. So, I can then I move the cursor over here, and then select, make sure, make sure that cube is still selected. And an object snap uh, selection the cursor. Now it moves wherever that is, which which is really really nice. So I can also go object snap cursor to grid, so I can align it to the grid, which is which is nice. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it for today's tutorial. Hope you boys and girls enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.